What's up? This is Ray. Welcome back. Hey, check this out. Today we're going to be reviewing something very unusual for the channel. I'm going to be reviewing this portable air conditioner system. And I know this is a photography and video channel, but whenever I find things unique and interesting that folks may not know about, I like to try to find a way to feature it on the channel if possible, because there's people out there who are searching for this and uh, this video can benefit them. So the, the, what's unique about this machine is from a company called Della. And I actually reviewed um, their portable washing machine a while back. And that video was so popular, so many people commented and responded and liked it. I asked Della um, that I would like to review something else on their website that maybe other people don't know about as well. So what's unusual about this air conditioner is it doesn't use Freon, that poisonous chemical that harms the atmosphere. It's an evaporative air conditioner. So what that means is it uses the, the moisture in the air to cool the coils. And then when the coils get cool, it blows air past them. And that's what cools the room. And what's unique is it can get pretty much as cold as any other air conditioner. It can go just above 50 degrees. And I thought that was so cool. So um, yeah, if you're interested in an affordable but portable air conditioning unit that um, is a little more flexible than a wall unit. Stick around. We're going to be checking out this Della Evaporative Air Conditioner uh, System. So uh, stick around. Okay, so before I talk about the features and how this um, air conditioner works, I think the most important thing I should explain is it vents the hot air in the room outside. So the most important part is there is a window bracket that attaches in your window and that's what allows the hot air to vent outside. So before you do anything, um, you want to make sure you find an appropriate window where that bracket will fit, right? And um, the kit comes with different types of foam to, to seal around the edges of the window frame and then you close the window onto the bracket. But after that, there are a few holes in the bracket that is very important that you drill into the window just to keep everything tight and secure. And finally, there's an L-shaped bracket that you put on the outside corner of the window and also drill that into the window frame to prevent that window from being open. That was one thing I was wondering. How do you keep your window secure? So um, you're probably seeing some images now of I'm showing you how it's done in some examples. The uh, reason I'm showing you is because the instruction manual isn't necessarily very clear and very detailed. And some of that you kind of have to use common sense to figure out on your own. So let's get on to the air conditioning unit now. Okay, so this is the operation of the AC. The, let's first look at the mode button. Um, there's four different modes. The first one, of course, is cool. That cools the room. The second one is dry. What that does, it, it doesn't cool the room, but it absorbs the moisture that's in the room and it drips down and collects in a reservoir at the bottom. And at some point, the display will tell you that the reservoir is full and you can open the, the drain plug and drain it. Or the kit comes with a clear hose that you can attach to that drain plug so that it can be continually draining. Uh, you just have to make sure that there's a spot for it to run out to. Um, the third mode is fan, which blows fan is kind of self-explanatory. And the final one is the timer. What that means is if the ace, if the unit is off, you can set the timer a certain amount of time before it turns on. Or if the unit is running, you can set the timer for a certain amount of time for it to turn off. Um, so that's pretty much the modes. Um, these middle buttons right below the display is one is for plus to raise the temperature and one is down to lower the temperature. Um, in the fan mode on the right side of the display, there's high, medium, and low. And what I notice is the low speed is still high. It's still kind of powerful. I, if it was up to me, I think they would should have even one lower speed than the low one. That would be a little more quieter and, and milder. And finally, there's an automatic mode. What that means is once you set the temperature you want, um, there's a thermostat in there that measures the room temperature coming in and it'll turn on and off to maintain the temperature that you set. Uh, oh, I almost forgot to mention, there's a remote control that comes with it. And the remote control has pretty much all the features that are on here. But one interesting thing I noticed, these louvers will open and move uh, to help circulate the air. And that's really cool. I like that. But the remote control has a button to turn the louvers on that's called swing that causes them to move. I notice on the AC unit itself, 
there is no swing button. So technically, if you lose this remote, you won't be able to turn on the movement of the louvers, which is kind of unusual, but that's, that's pretty much all the buttons. Okay, so here's the most important part of this review, is how well it performs. How well does it cool a room? I put this unit in, in our Florida room, and the Florida room is 23 feet wide by 10 feet deep. And when I measured the temperature in that room, it was 85 degrees. Um, so after turning on the unit and letting it run for two hours, it brought the temperature down to 75 degrees. So it was able to cool that pretty hot room by 10 degrees. And that's, I thought that was good because most people will set their AC to 77 to sleep or so forth. So it's, it was really effective to cool that large size room. Um, and there's a lot of windows in it too, so a lot of sunlight is coming in. Um, the only thing, th though, this is considered a portable unit. It's on casters. See how easy it is to roll? But when you think of it, though, the, the bracket is attached and locked into one window. So technically, I can't just move it from the Florida room to my bedroom without having a bracket also in the bedroom. Moving the bracket is, once you have it secured and locked in, it's not something you want to just take out. Um, especially since the foam has glue on it and that glue holds it everything secure so it's portable to a point unless I guess you get other brackets that you would put on other windows so that's the only point I, I noticed about it but um, it was it was very effective in that particular test alright so that is my review of the Della evaporative air conditioner and I have to say whenever I review a product I try to find some constructive criticism to make it better and I really couldn't find anything to complain about with this unit. It does exactly as it's advertised. Um, I guess the only thing I could say is the, the instruction manual is not very detailed. There's certain things it doesn't explain, um, like the dry function. I kind of had to figure that out and do some research. And there's certain things that it could have explained better, especially for someone who never used one of these before. Um, there's things that kind of could improve on. So uh, yeah, Della, if you need help with uh, writing a better instruction manual, let me know. <laughs> I'll uh, definitely help you uh, make it more clearer. Um, this unit is about $380 on the Della Amazon store. So I'll put a link below uh, where you can get one if you like. Um, I'm not an appliance review person, so there's probably some technical specs I left out that should be included in the air condition review. So um, feel free to leave some questions below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, hey, thank you for watching though. And keep in mind, no matter what AC you use to cool your place, until next time, as always, keep it real.